Boston, it took more than three centuries, but the last Salem witch who was and has been officially pardoned. Massachusetts lawmakers on Thursday formally exonerated Elizabeth Johnson Jr., clearing her name 329 years after she was convicted of witchcraft in 1693 and sentenced to death at the height of the Salem witch trials. Johnson was never executed, but neither was she officially pardoned like others wrongly accused of witchcraft. Lawmakers agreed to reconsider her case last year after a curious 8th grade civics class at North Andover Middle School took up her cause and researched the legislative steps needed to clear her name. Subsequent legislation introduced by State Senator Diana D. Olio, a Democrat from Methuen, was tacked onto a budget bill and approved. We will never be able to change what happened to victims like Elizabeth but at the very least can set the record straight, D. Olio said. In a statement, North Andover teacher Carrie LaPierre, whose students championed the legislation, praised the youngsters for taking on the long overlooked issue of justice for this wrongly convicted woman. Passing this legislation will be incredibly impactful on their understanding of how we impor. Johnson is the last accused witch to be cleared, according to Witches of Massachusetts Bay, a group devoted to the history and lore of the 17th century witch hunts. For 300 years, Elizabeth Johnson Jr. was without a voice, her story lost to the passages of time, said State Senator Joan Lovely, of S. 20 people from Salem and neighboring towns were killed and hundreds of others accused during a frenzy of Puritan injustice that began in 1692, stoked by superstition, fear of disease and strangers, scapegoating and petty jealousies. 19 were hanged, and one man was crushed to death by rocks. Johnson was 22 when she was caught up in the hysteria of the witch trials and sentenced to hang. That never happened, then Governor William Phipps threw out her punishment as the magnitude of the gross miscarriages of justice in Salem sank in. In the more than three centuries that have ensued, dozens of suspects officially were cleared, including Johnson's own mother, the daughter of a minister whose conviction eventually was reversed. 